What's up t -Botters? This is Ty from tbotfitness.com coming at you again today with another core workout. Hey, how's it going? So, here's the deal. I sat down yesterday to edit this video. This was supposed to be core two, but what ended up happening was uh, the audio cuts out about halfway through my intro of the video. I, of course, do not notice and I have I proceed to go on with the entire rest of the workout, finishing up and not having any audio for any of it. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm actually going to uh, introduce the workout to you here right now. But one positive thing that happened out of that negative craziness is uh, this. That's right. I am now a certified corrective exercise specialist. So what that means is I actually can help those of you who maybe have some slight troubles and maybe you're doing some squats or, or uh, you have some trouble lifting your arms overhead. If getting out of the car is more difficult for you or when you stand up, it's, it's, it's a process, your knees or your shoulders are bothering you, little things like that. And basically what I utilize with this new certification is I actually have the ability to help kind of correct those imbalances in your body. I, this is something that's been very passionate of mine. I have a lot of clients that I meet when they first come in, they're like, oh, Tyler, my, my shoulder's hurting or my knees are hurting. This is a certification I can utilize to kind of help people uh, get through that, to kind of correct that. It's uh, very close to a um, physical therapist, uh, only I am absolutely um, obviously, it's a very hands-off approach with that certification. With a physical therapist, they will, you know, they'll hold on to you, they'll move you in certain ways, they'll, they'll give you other exercises and stuff that they can actually touch you with. Mine's all hands-off. It's all coaching-based, but it, it is the use and the development of uh, muscles that may be ha underutilized in your day-to-day -day routine, and it's kind of uh, used, my, my certification's kind of used to kind of bring back a normalized function of your day-to-day -day activity. So it makes getting out of the chair a little bit easier or um, if you have trouble working overhead or something like that, you can utilize these exercises to kind of, I can kind of help stabilize those muscles as they do those specific routines and they actually end up becoming stronger over time and things like that. So that's what I wanted to get the certification for. There's a lot of people that I meet along the way of, the, of my fitness career here that, you know, have these issues. And so this is a way for me to kind of help, kind of help correct those things. So if you're at all interested in this, feel free to contact me and we can maybe get you started on a corrective exercise uh, routine, especially if you're having trouble in any of the things that I've mentioned, or if you have little nagging pains. I'm not a physical therapist, I'm not licensed physical therapist, so I can't help you with the chronic pains, and most likely more times than not, I'll refer you to a specialist if it's a really big, you know, red flag kind of agenda, but I can help you with the minor things and kind of help things, you know, correct themselves. And even some of the information that I share with you from now on in the videos may have uh, information pertaining to helping you get through your um, situation. So. Other than that, I want to get right into the routine here today. So here is it right now. We're going to do dueling leg circles. Um, it's a lower body core stability move. Uh, with that, uh, you're going to basically be holding a kind of a V-shaped position with your hands back behind you. And basically, you're bringing your legs out and in together. And with that, you're going to add a little bit of instability in that core. So the core is going to have to be working to keep that stability in the, with your legs moving, as well as you maintaining that V-sit position. From there, we're going to be going into the bent knee windshield wipers. This is a, um, an easier version of the regular windshield wipers. And I do show you both versions while we do uh, this routine. Uh, but these are great exercises uh, for working on the obliques. The obliques are something you want to definitely target, um, kind of the obliques are this, the side muscles here. And uh, so the bent knee windshield wipers is the prerequisite into the regular windshield wipers. So it makes it a little bit easier, but it still is very challenging because you have to be able to keep your knees from touching either side of the mat as you go on. 
From there, we're going into what's called a rolling jackknife. It's a little bit more of a movement-based core exercise. You're going to basically be rolling backwards, almost as if you were doing a, a hollow body rock or a body rock of some sort. But as you come up, it's what you do with your legs and your arms that's going to differentiate it because you're basically going to be rolling up, tucking one leg, keeping the other straight, and you're going to be rolling forward, reaching forward towards that outstretched foot. And what that does is it adds a little bit of uh, movement instability as you keep rolling backwards and forwards, and you have to use your core because you're not going to be touching the ground as you come up, and you have to use your core to bring yourself back to that forward rolled position without touching the floor. It's a lot of core control required to complete this movement, which is why it's such a good exercise to do. And then we're going to finish up, as we always like to do, with a top-down movement. It's the 1-1-2 one, one, crunch. The 1-1-2 one, one, crunch, you're, it's gonna, it combines the lower, you know, the bottom-up movement and the top-down movement, but you're doing them both at the same time. But it does focus a little bit more, that's why it's called a crunch on the top-down movement. And what that is, is we're going to bring one leg up, crunch up towards it, and then we're keeping those legs suspended, so then we're going one, one, the other leg, and then you're bringing the second one up, and that's the one, one, two crunch. And so definitely a bunch of good exercises for those today, uh, all encompassing that core move. So technically this is core two, but now it's core three because of uh, circumstances. So without any further ado, here is core three. All right, guys. So we're hitting this core workout today. We're going to start with dueling leg circles. So you're going to get in that V-sit position and you're going to bring your legs outward to inward together. Here we go. Just like this. Nice and strong. Kind of keep everything up in this V-sit position. Just like this. Remember to breathe as you come up. While doing the bent knee windshield wipers, make sure that your legs are held at a 90 degree angle. Do not let your knees touch the ground. If you want to make this exercise harder, simply straighten your legs as viewed in the video currently. This will increase the moment arm and make the exercise that much more difficult. Returning to a bent knee position will make the exercise less difficult and you'll be able to continue so try to do your legs as straight as you can for as long as you can and then switch to bent knees if the exercise gets too difficult for you to complete the entire round in that amount of time. So get those hips up and then straight forward. You're not letting your feet touch the ground. And you're breathing out as you roll forward. Tuck, up, tuck, and up. Breathe out. Hips up, forward, up, forward. You got it. Keep going, we're almost there.
One. One. Two. One. One. Two. Remember to breathe out every time you come up. Just like this, nice and strong. And to keep everything up in this V-sit position. Just like this. Remember to breathe as you come up. So get those hips up and then straight forward. You're not letting your feet touch the ground. And you're breathing out as you roll forward. Tuck, up. Tuck, and up. Breathe out. Hips up, forward. Up, forward. You got it. Keep going, we're almost there. Remember to breathe out every time you come up.
Just like this. Nice and strong. Kind of keep everything up in this V-sit position. Just like this. Remember to breathe as you come up. So that was core three. How did you like it? I'm sure that core is on fire. Mine definitely was when I did this routine. Um, I hope you appreciate it. It's a little bit different. Uh, not so much coaching in between because of the loss of volume. I will definitely probably revisit these exercises later on in future videos with a little bit more volume, a little bit more uh, um, instruction as I do them. I know that's your guys' favorites anyways. Um, if you guys got a lot of information out of the video or you got a good workout from this, uh, feel free to give, uh, donate as always. There's links in the description box below. 
Any amount of money that's donated to T-Bod Fitness helps keep the lights on, helps keep me making these videos for you guys, and is greatly appreciated from me. It takes a lot uh, to keep everything running, to keep this small business afloat, and your donations are always appreciated. Likewise, if you guys got uh, any, if you guys did enjoy the workout, and th this is what it's like to train here at T-Bod Fitness. So if you like the workout, I'm a, I'm a trainer, and you can come and get with me, and we can actually do workouts like this to kind of get you to your fitness goals. If you're at all interested in training with me here at T-Bod Fitness, all you have to do is go to tbodfitness.com and actually fill out, uh, you know, uh, sign up for a free consultation with me. It, whether you're several states away or you're local, you can come and meet with me, whether online or in person, and we can actually get you set up with a, a routine, and I can actually help you um, get to your fitness goals, and we can kind of sit there and discuss what exactly that means for you and what you'll need to do, and I can help you through workouts, but I can also help you nutritionally. I have nutritional coaching abilities as well through my certification. So definitely multiple ways. Now I have the boxing certification and the corrective exercise certification as well. So many different avenues you can take in coming and working with me and getting your fitness journey on track. So as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, finish strong.